playbroadway.com. It's Kyle Dean. Welcome to the Gershwin Theater and a special backstage tour pass of Wicked. Welcome to my dressing room, which is the smallest dressing room in the whole theater, but I'm not complaining because I'm closer to the stage, so I'll take what I can get. But this is it. This is where the, the pre-show pre magic happens. There's a lot of hair product that gets my hair to look like Fiero hair, so that takes quite a while. And you can see here, my dresser Michael is a quilt maker, and he wins all kinds of awards for making quilts, and so we usually have like a rotating gallery of quilts here in my dressing room. So let me take you around, see some other places, because this is, quite honestly, probably the most boring part of the theater. So we're gonna head down to wardrobe. We're gonna walk down this hallway that we call the principal hallway, because this is where all the, the witches and Madame Morrible and the wizard in my dressing room, all of our dressing rooms are on this one very glamorous hallway as you can see and going down this door and this stairwell is the rest of the theater um, which is a really big theater it's one of the biggest theaters on Broadway um, so there's kind of a labyrinth of halls and you can see um, if you look at the walls here we've had we've had some cast members that have been here for a long time that are very artistically inclined and have painted our hallways and our stair stairwells with scenes from the show um, and it's actually really cool so here we are one level below, and down on this level is where wardrobe and hair and makeup and the ensemble dressing rooms and the green room and um, stagehand rooms, like just so much stuff. And as you can see, like all down the halls are costumes, and you can see it's the same costume over and over because each understudy, each standby has their own set of these beautifully intricate costumes and um, they keep them down here and they, they're stored and ready to go so at a moment's notice if someone needed to go on um, they would look great so this is the wardrobe room this is where um, they work 24 hours a day seven days a week they never stop <laughs> it's full of bins with ribbons and beads and shoelaces and paint and millions of colors of thread because the costumes are so intricate and each one is so detailed they constantly need repairs and alterations and we're constantly getting new people and so the, the work never stops in here. This is actually underneath the stage when sometimes people have entrances and exits from trap doors and from beneath the stage and so this is where they all are when, when that's happening which is kind of cool. So these big blue things, we use a lot of fog in Wicked. This is the kind of fog that uses dry ice and they have, they go through all of these <clears throat> in like a week. Like we'll use every single one. This way is the green room. And um, this is where people chill out kind of before the show where you might watch Wheel of Fortune, have a Coke and like a snack or something. Um, hey y'all, it's Broadway.com. So what are y'all watching now? Is this the Chew? Well, yeah, we're getting ready for a matinee, so we have some daytime TV happening right now. Yeah, I like to watch Days of Our Lives. <laughs> I like my stories. Hey, it's Broadway.com. Well, here they are. This is the makeup in here, and if you look around, you can see that there are wigs lining the walls. The show has over 100 wigs, and they're all but one is human hair. I would say most people wear about three wigs in the show, and that's not including the masks that, um, that the monkeys wear and the different animals, the goats, the rat, the ox. I think he's an ox. In our hallways, they just started doing this thing a couple years ago where they started doing graduating classes of Oz. And we're actually on the second or third floor of the building right now, but all these names are people that have been in the show. And when you leave, you graduate from Shiz, and so you get your name on here. If you turn around, you can see it goes all the way down the stairwell. Every single person that's worked here, starting from the first person. So now we're in the male ensemble dressing room. Hi, hi everybody. <laughs> Everyone's getting ready. They're stretching. They're going through the rigorous warm-ups. This is Chistery. Hi guys. And this is Ribbon Dancer. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Y'all, tell us about um, the the headshot wall up here. Well, uh, it all started when one of our cast members was leaving, and I thought it'd be a great idea to put my headshot on his station um, which is a wonderful color headshot up there and then everyone else started bringing in old black and white headshots um, and putting it up on his station and then we decided to just make a wall of fame mine in the past 10 years have changed dramatically of course as you can see here 
10 years does a lot to someone here at Wicked. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thanks y'all. We're up on the third or fourth level. Oh gosh, there he is. He heard my voice. It's Tom Flynn. We're practicing our ensemble vocal notes. Yes, we're notes. learning our notes for the opening number. In the opening, your good news cutoffs need to be you know, a little brighter. Crisper. So. Hi. But this is y'all's room. As you can see, bigger than mine. Everyone's dressing yeah, room is much larger than mine. Two for one. <laughs> two for one. Even. <laughs> you live in a studio. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your setup here. Well, <laughs> uh, it's not very organized. I have some wonderful uh, pieces of fan fan art. This is my personal favorite. It's like a voodoo doll. Are you sure it's? Yes, a, <laughs> it is actually. These guys are um, gonna get ready for the show. So. Oh, right. Let's right. warm up. Let's warm up. <laughs> Woo! 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 And our character, our character, our character. Awesome. All right, so now we're going to visit Jackie Burns, who plays Elphaba, who, before every show, she has to get completely covered in her makeup. So we're going to go see her in that process. Hello? Come in. Oh, come in. Hi. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Right next to This Am I is Wicked. <laughs> This is Jackie Burns. She plays Alphaba. Hi. Say hi. Hello. How does it feel to have How does it feel to have green put over your whole body every day, twice a day sometimes? Feels really great and really right. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's not so fun. But you can see Craig. He's brushing on like the first layer, um, and he's constantly having to follow her around um, and touch it up because it it's just makeup. She actually doesn't get it tattooed on, so it comes. It actually will come off sometimes on me if she's feeling real frisky that day. Um. If he's looking cute, would you? Like <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Jackie. Thank you for coming by. Have a good show. So this is our stage level, and there are lots of props and lots of set pieces at Wicked. And when they're not in use, they're literally tucked away wherever they will fit. If you walk around the theater, you'll just see props and brooms and pitchforks and corn um, so right now they're presetting the show and so they're getting everything in place for the beginning of the show so this guy right here is Woody that's what we call him at least and this is how I make my entrance into the show it's a pedicab basically um, disguised and dressed up as a horse and we've named him Woody and you can see he even has acorns for eyes this is the what we call the upstage crossover and uh, when you may have an exit on one side and entrance on the other side this is where we all this is where all the traffic is happening during the show. So now we're to the other side of the stage and you can see this is the stage level here. And many more props and things are, are kept around here. The Fallen House, we have the Oz Head. My statue that I dance on in Dancing Through Life is way up there. Um, they crane it up there for basically the whole show. There are these huge set pieces just dangling over your head. So here we are on the stage. I don't know if you can hear or not, but people are already out there anxiously waiting our matinee to begin. But um, everything's preset and ready to go. Um, they've got Glinda's bubble down, so when she's ready, they'll snap her in there and they'll pull her up so she can make her grand entrance in the bubble. Um, this is what it looks like backstage for the show starts. Um, stage is really cool. It's actually on a bit of an angle. They call it a rake. So um, the sight lines are better for the people out in the audience. They can kind of see more what's happening at the back of the stage. but. There's all kinds of fancy stuff happening in the floor here. Tracks and trap doors and speakers and thing, holes for fog and things like that. So um, you can't wear any stilettos around here. <laughs> and you can see the map um, is in. And um, in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, this show is going to get underway. Well, thanks for coming along with me backstage at Wicked. Uh, I got to start getting ready because the show's about to start. But um, this is our stage door. and. This is where we sign in, and this is where I'll sign out. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.